just warned there's not been enough transparency about a company with such strong links to US police, immigration and secret services. The most important thing in the management of a pandemic is trust. And when you lose trust, you lose the public's confidence. And it's really, really important people are transparent with what ultimately is our data. Um, and that's going to be really, really important when you're dealing, as I am, with uh, vulnerable communities who are already suspicious of the establishment. You say you can never do it. You've got no plans to sell this data. Or what I'm, what I'm putting to you is, if you've got all that data, as Doctors Association UK says, an extremely precious British resource, in one place, that opens the door in the future to it being sold. Correct? But by the UK government, not by me. Okay. I, I don't have the ability to do it. You can see why people are oh, concerned then. Oh, absolutely. So the way to deal with people's concerns is to show them this is going to be much better for your life. It's going to improve your health outcome. By the way, okay. the NHS has a huge problem with that log. Those problems are not solvable without technology. Okay. Your company is in the running to win this huge contract. According to Foxglove, which campaigns to make technology fairer for everybody, and according to Doctors Association UK, as a result of what they call pandemic opportunism and a concerted lobbying effort. What would you say to that? We go to clients all the time and we say, look, we know our, we believe our product is the best. We will give it to you for free and you can test it. By the way, it's the other thing I would say. We're giving you the single most successful enterprise product in America, the most difficult place to win in. Okay. So, Well, let, just, just so we make it clear for our audience, your company charged the NHS just one pound in 2020 to develop its COVID data store, which holds personal information on patients around diagnosis, treatment, etc. You then gave the government for free an IT system. By the way, what's the problem with that? Well, let me get to yeah. the end of the question, if I may. You then gave the government for free an IT system to help with its Homes for Ukraine scheme. The government's procurement watchdog wrote to you about his concerns about how you gained a commercial foothold. Well, he's again, concerned. Just let me, okay, let me explain something that's more towards America. Well, we have a problem in America in government that a lot of the software doesn't work. And so you, they're basically attacking us for saying, I know our software works. Most of the software that these entities use, as everybody in the NHS knows, is not working. So I'm, I want to prove to whether it's the United, United Kingdom's government or it's my massive business in American commercial, if I show up to you as a smart person and say, my software's so good, I'm gonna charge you $10 million. You're like, well, if it's so good, why can't I try it? So it's because that's what every smart person's gonna say, I've been all over the world over 20 years. The, you know, I spend most but, but isn't it also true, Mr. Cox, sorry to interrupt, isn't it also true? It then puts you in pole position for a really lucrative contract like this one with the NHS. Everybody in the world who's in this business should do the same thing. One of the things but do you accept it puts you in pole position? I, I use this way of going to market because I believe most software products don't work. It only puts us in an advantageous position because everybody who doesn't like it by and large does not believe their product works or they would do the same thing.